What is going on guys? My name is Patrick aka Chief Pat and today bringing you guys a brand new base design for Town Hall 10. So this is the Town Hall 10 base design I used for the live stream uh, when I was at Supercell HQ doing the YouTuber clan war. It worked out pretty well there and I wanted to share it with you guys because I've been having a lot of success with it and uh, getting a lot of people to one star me inside of war. So let me show you guys what it's about then I'll show you guys the two live stream replays and sort of break those things down. Uh, but first of all let's talk about the core of the base. So pretty standard core. I have my Town Hall and my clan castle i do have two storages inside of my core to distract like the pekkas or the king queen maybe even minions if they're using an air attack towards the very end of the raid to try to distract them from getting my town hall still have the triple expos as well as i have my air sweeper and three teslas on outside of that you can see i have a whole bunch of buildings that actually aren't defenses and because of that it makes it really hard for the golems to enter the center of my base so i have things like storages elixir collectors dark barracks my king and my queen Stuff like that isn't going to target the, the golems, and it makes it so the golems run around the base, and they're left with just their heroes and maybe a couple of, of wizards left to try to crack my core, which in general is pretty tough. On the outside, I have the rest of my defenses, a little bit different of a wall setup as well as my air defense, and overall, I've been having a pretty good amount of success with this base. It's sort of hard to describe Town Hall 10 bases because you get attacked by such a crazy amount of uh, different strategies, but it's worked really well for me, and I've, d I've done it using um, a different kip a couple different variations so you can see I have the air defense right now I have the one on the top bottom left and the right sometimes if I feel like they're a little bit less protected I'll swap them for the storage next to them so you can see the air defense on the very bottom it has a gold storage and an elixir storage next to it I might swap it for one of those so if you feel a little bit weak on air defense you can always swap those back and forth um, but for me I've had a lot of success with this base a lot of one stars which for clan wars are really really good and uh, let's go ahead and hop into the replays and sort of just give you um, a break down of the two attacks that I was attacked with. So the first attack was from Clash on Gone, and this one was actually using a go wee wee slash go wipe, and let's go ahead and check out what he did when he attacked. So first of all, golems are gonna go in from the top right. He has a couple of wizards and witches going down there as well. He wanted to attack from the top right using a jump spell to get to my core, and then let's go ahead and see how that works out for him. So he spreads his golems out. He's taking a little bit of his time to get through the walls because I think I got a couple of his wall breakers with my wizard tower, which tends to happen a lot because the wizard tower is right on the edge of the range with the walls that I have right there. Now he's gonna go ahead and drop his first rage spell, stop, start dropping some of the rest of his troops, and he's finally cracked that first part of my base, but it did take him a long time to to do that and uh, he actually has a useless golem on the very top so things are looking pretty good you can see the air defense placement that I had for this clan war I did swap them a little bit with one of my storages and then now that he's making his way into my core I have three skeleton traps I have a ton of clan castle troops um, as well as I do have my king up there and then my queen's on the bottom left if she can reach the final troops so it's gonna be tough for him to break the core and let's see if he can get it done so troops are going around the base, 32%. I think it's going to be really tough for him to get to 50%, actually. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and let him run through. He's at 36%, and he gets pretty lucky towards the end. The queen does end up targeting the town hall, and since he did have a level 37 queen, she's actually going to be able to take that out and get to 41%. He did have a couple of archers left, but unfortunately, he was not able to get to 50 because I still have the lava hound on defense, um, as well as I have like a lot of the buildings on the outside being covered by my archer tower. So for the, for the first attack, I ended up defending with a one star which is again really really good when you're a town hall 10 inside of a clan war so overall I would definitely call this one a victory for me so let's go ahead and check out this second attack and this one's from reversal and he actually used a different strategy by bringing out the lava Lunian. so usually go wipe slash go wee wee and lava Lunian are the two most po powerful attack strategies at town hall 10 so I was really happy I got attacked by two different versions um, and let's go ahead and see how he attacked me and he decided to attack from the top left and he's going to go all out dropping his balloons and minions up there so that is the spot where my air sweeper is away from so unfortunately my air sweeper really didn't play a big part inside of this battle he's making his way to the the core but fortunately I had a lava hound inside of my clan castle which again I think is super strong nowadays and it ended up distracting a lot of his minions so he wasn't able to get to my town hall uh, or try to get to that 50% so right now he's at 41% he has a couple of minions left he has his king and his queen uh, and he sort of has to decide where he wants to attack from to try to get to my base there's still a couple of buildings left inside of the core so it's gonna be pretty difficult to get to there as well as his heroes are not maxed out at level 40 which sometimes sometimes can be dangerous but he's gonna drop some minions on the bottom him to get those free percentage points and then he's going to try to be bold and go for the town hall through the center so let's go ahead and see how he's going to work this one out 
So five wall breakers, pretty common whenever you see people use attack strategies like this, just so their king and queen don't get distracted. I do have some barbarians left in my clan castle that the uh, balloons and minions didn't activate. And then as he drops those last minions right there, now he's gonna go ahead and focus on his king and queen on the top left, and we'll see if they path their way to the town hall. But it's usually really difficult to get them to go straight to the town hall. In fact, you see that gold storage right there on the right-hand side? That one's actually pretty close to the king and the queen. Um, so they're gonna get distracted and go to the gold storage and said instead he sort of actually gets lucky because the clan castle troops redirect him back towards the path near my town hall and his wall breakers make an opening and then now he's sort of making his way towards the town hall but unfortunately they're not going to make their way there he'll activate his king's ability he's going to activate his queen's ability in a second but for them unfortunately they did get another one star for total damage and that actually ended up being a really big part of the war that we only realistically won by one star because galadon had to go for three stars at the very end uh, but overall my town hall 10 to Defense held up really well, and I held two uh, town hall attackers to one star each. And uh, yeah, I was really happy with how this base design turns out. And this has happened a bunch before with regular wars, uh, even just holding up on regular defense. So hope you guys like this base design. If you do, make sure you drop a comment let me, letting me know what you think or if you want to change anything about it. I actually got inspiration from this base design from one of the top clans in Finland, uh, which a Supercell employee actually sent me a picture of. So a uh, big shout out to the people in Finlandia. I believe it was their clan who like sort of started this base design up. And uh, yeah, that's going to wrap it up this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you guys want a town hall defense for a different town hall level, and I will see you guys later. Peace out.